All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and here in Twitch chat as well for our last deck of the day here. Uh, you know, if you're watching this later, maybe it's your first deck, who knows. But we're gonna try some Esper Angels. Um, I guess I accidentally clicked on a negate. There's supposed to be two negates in the main deck. There we go, now it's 60. Um, so I've been having a lot of success with Mardu Angels um, with kind of like the same uh, black and white angel package. Um, and then we played one league with the Orzhov Angels that actually did pretty good that had uh, Kai's Wrath in the main deck. Um, so we're going to kind of combine those together. Uh, well, then we also played a, a Blue-White Angels League also that, that did well with, with just Resplendent, Lyra, and then like Dive Down and Negate. And now, so we're going to kind of combine all three of those decks together. Um, I do like the Dive Down and Negate to protect the Angels plan. I think that's a strong plan. Um, and I like the, the black removal and like the rats against the small creature decks or just against other creature decks. Um, so yeah, I like what we have going on here. I think the, the big thing that I'm scared of in this deck, um, well one, I'm, I'm not sure about three midnight reapers. I think that's, that may be a little high, but I, I honestly don't like 25 lands. I, I think that this needs to be a 26 land deck. Like we have 26 in the Mardu. Because like we need to hit to four and five, like we want to hit our fourth and fifth land drop, and we don't have like we don't have like the extra cards um, early early on to draw us more cards. Like we just have to just hit our own land drops. We d the Midnight Reaper may help us though. So like this is like the one thing that that could help us, uh, you know, draw an extra card or two. So we'll see. Um, but that's that's one thing just kind of going into the the league that I'm worried about here. Uh, sideboard, we got our other Duress Negates, you know, uh, which of course is, is usual. Uh, Spyglass, Cry for some aggro decks. Um, and then, yeah, three Eldest Reborn. Just so this will be pretty uh, good to try out. If we're playing against, like, Is It Drakes, love the card there. Um, and also Ethereal Absolution is cool. So, yeah, I like, I like kind of what we got going on here in our sideboard. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Esper Angels. All right. I'm feeling good about this league. Feeling good about this one. I like it. This is the thing that like happens a lot of times with the Angels decks though. You know, you have like a, a three land hand like this and you have like the five drops and you just really want to curve to the five drops, which is why I kind of want the 26 lands in here. Yes, yeah, so these are versus, versus regular players. Yeah, we're playing against other players. Um, <clears throat> you can't, they, they don't have it set up where you play against any AI at all in anything. You draft with um, AI when you do drafts, but no games are played against AI. Hey, Sonic View made it to Mythic. Way to go. I probably need to kill this electrostatic field. Let's do that. Um... I think the previous song was Wonderwall, I think. Hmm. Let's play the Midnight Reaper. I feel like our opponent has a... Okay, well that's fine. I was going to say, I feel like they have a Lightning Strike. And I don't really want my Resplendent Angel to get Lightning Striked. Yeah, it looks like Counterburn. Phoenix. Phoenix. If we if we could draw a land, I'm slamming this Lyra under a counter spell. No, we have Memorial to Folly in our deck. Uh, no. No land. At least it's a land, but it's a tap land. Not a tap land. 
I, that was my fault. I was not specific. Uh, that is true. I asked for a land and it gave me a land. That's got to be the only one. We're playing... There's two Memorial to Follies. Okay, that's... That... In lands where you need to hit your land drops and curving out's important, having the tap land is, is kind of rough. Ugh. I... Alright, so our... I'm thinking our opponent has a counter spell. Um... I can activate Resplendent Angel, but I think they they could have a burn spell. I guess they probably just kill it with, if they had a burn spell, they probably just kill it and attack with the Torch Courier though. What's wrong with the World of Folly? It just comes into play tapped. I don't like coming into play tapped. Yeah, I feel like they're going to kill it if I activate it, right? So I'm just going end step, Angel of Grace. Or maybe not end step. I'll, I'll flash in the Angel of Grace to block the Torch Courier. Now end step. Use Blood Sun with the Volley then. There we go. Don't counter it. Oh, baby. They didn't counter it. They didn't counter it. Yeah, the animations are sweet. That That's another good part about playing angel decks as they have good animations also. What? Just giving up? Give up attack? Alright, yeah, I don't know what our opponent's really doing, but they have a Rekindling Phoenix. Rekindling Phoenix is a good card. Looks like our opponent's just kind of playing some cards they own. Alright, sideboarding against cards I own. Um, they are playing counter spells. Let's get some duresses in. It doesn't seem like maybe we need the dive downs as much. Trim, a Midnight Reaper. For an extra negate. I'm not going to do too much sideboard in here. Can't keep this, right? I don't think I can keep this. No, that's just four cards that we need to draw three lands to do anything with any of those four cards. I'm not confident we're going to get there. I played Kaya one time in an Esper control deck. Uh, it didn't really ever do anything. Um, but I think it is kind of good again. I don't know. Not about necessarily too good, but it's it's acceptable against the like the the Golgari Sultai decks with all the fine finalities and stuff like that.
Alright, we're just waiting until turn six. Play this Immortal Sun. Hope our opponent taps out before that. I guess I should have held my negate up. Yeah, it could have definitely untapped. But they're tapped out. We can land a Lyra. Ugh, no Lyra. Close enough, though. So you were super underwhelmed at first, but you think it's actually good, provided you have a clock. I mean, is there, like, any Planeswalker that's not good if you don't have a clock? Like, if you have a clock? Okay. I... Yeah. That was not good. I really should have just gave the Seraph of the Scales Vigilance and attacked. My bad. Forgot it did that for a, just a fraction of a second, but I clicked like the thing that skipped my turn and it was too late. Um, my bad. Let him win a game so it ends 2-1. Well, what if we let him win a game and then we get like, you know, like mana screwed where it's a mulligan to oblivion. You know, like, you know, there's just not any lands in our like 7, 6, 5 and all that kind of stuff. I think our, I think our opponent's okay. I don't, I don't think we need to let them win a game. I'm not sure if their dreams are just simply to, to win one game. I think their dreams to win a match. I could be wrong. I don't know their dreams. That's just me assuming. Hey, King. Good evening. <laughs> yep. Well, I always like getting different... Wear a lot of different ties. Alright, we have a Lyra, which is a good card also. I guess I don't mind throwing the Seraph into a counterspell. Huh. Alright, no counterspell. Well, that's good. That means that they probably don't have another counter spell. All right. All right, and time to move on to the next game. Ooh, I like the attack. Because I want to block. There we go. Sure strike. Cool. And we have seven cards in hand to finish the game with. No lands, though. I, I'm still pretty worried about the 25 land thing. I am. Didn't hurt us there, though. We, we hit our land drops for the most part that first game. All right, I'm getting the Naya Dinosaurs deck up on YouTube now. All right, I like this hand. I like how the Tithe Takers can kind of play some defense, help us get to, help us uh, stay alive long enough for the Immortal Sun. Yeah, and we're wearing, yep, we're wearing the black and white. Uh, we got the Orzov outfit on. 
Ooh, Tithe Taker is really good against Mono Blue. By really good, I mean it makes their makes it harder for them to protect their things. But of course, it doesn't block, and I I don't have any removal, so hopefully no Curious Obsession. But it makes it hard for them to counter my stuff. No Curious Obsession. Well, we tried. We could draw a removal spell here. We could draw Mortify. Draw a Mortify. Attack. Hmm. That's pretty interesting that our opponent made that trade. Gave us a flyer to block with. You know, now we get to chomp with this flyer for a turn so they don't draw a card. And then and then we also got to draw a card. I guess the tithe, getting the Tithe Taker out of there does make it easier for them to counter stuff, though. Alright, so I'm going to upkeep, try to Contempt the Storm Tamer. That worked out really well. We got to uh, get that storm tamer out of here because they were a little greedy with that trickster. But you know they're they're stuck on two lands. They have to they have to do something. We don't know what else is in their hand, of course. That is just spectacular for us. Getting a Dawnbringer on the battlefield. Just spectacular. Yeah, that should be game. That should be game. Eating some toast with uh, almond butter on it, and man, the almond butter is so good. It's like Hawaiian bread toast and almond butter, and I am really enjoying it right now. I got it from, let's see. I can even show you the, the almond butter that I have. It was from RX Bar. And it is delicious.
I think it's kind of expensive. Yeah, it is kind of expensive. Um, we'll just wait in Angel of Grace. This was the almond butter I got. Yeah, I ordered it off the internet. Um, I had a coupon code, though, which made it a lot cheaper. Um, I think it was Gleeman, actually. Yeah, I used coupon code Gleeman. Which is from a, a podcast, a Minnesota Twins podcast that I was listening to called Gleam and the Geek. And it was like, I don't know, it was like 20, 30, 40% off, something like that. It was certainly a decent amount cheaper. But it was very tasty. And I got, yeah, and I got the van vanilla almond butter also. So yeah, it's vanilla almond butter. Um, they have maple almond butter. It doesn't look like any cashew butter. They have regular almond butter. As far as peanut butter, they have honey cinnamon peanut butter and chocolate peanut butter. All right, mono blue. Back to the games. Let's get these duress, negate, uh, cry. I want wrath. I think I want cry. Cry's like, you know, good against one drops. That's about it. Maybe I don't need these cries too much. You have an almond cashew hazelnut butter right here, but it's very disappointing. Yeah, I, I have, I've had, I, I have had had, <laughs> I have had, bleh, disappointing uh, those these different types of butters as well before, but. This one from RX Bar is really tasty. Um, basically, we want to just try to resolve our angels. Our angels kind of win, <coughs> kind of win for us. But, uh, is there a spot to find what I need to make it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there's the deck list right there. Uh, you can see. <clears throat> I was just getting choked up there. Um, question from before was, when playing this deck, when do you sideboard in Profane Procession and Eldritch Reborn? Um, so you certainly want to sideboard those in. You don't want your opponent to have a lot of enchantment removal when you're bringing those in, so that's that's one thing to consider. Profane Procession is really good against creatures, and especially more expensive creatures, because it's kind of slow. Uh, so, like... 
uh, decks that are like that um, would be like Is it Drakes, the Grixis decks, um, any any blue black, blue red base deck, basically. Those those are both good there. Eldritch Born, you want it to like decks with basically just planeswalkers. Um, Eldritch Born can. Man, I was kept this hand hoping we would draw something before turn four, but we don't really. Eldritch Born can. Uh, you know, you want it to be able to like take out a, a planeswalker or an expensive threat right away, so you don't want to play it against decks with cheap creatures. What? Do they have like spell pierce also? Wait, what? 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 Yeah, I liked I liked the the thinking by the opponent there. They're like contemplating life. <laughs> the the thinking debating debating my life choices right now. Let's be honest, those <clears throat> those dive downs weren't doing anything anyway. Sometimes you need to fill your graveyard for like search for a scanta. Or, or something. Like what what would those dive downs do? Anyway, they would just kinda chill in their hand. I, I can respect just throwing away those dive downs. You don't need them. Yeah, you don't often see um, not playing anything until turn four gets mono blue when you're correct. <laughs> this is Hawkeye's favorite. Uh, maybe we don't win. Maybe we're going to lose. Okay, spoiler alert, we didn't lose. <laughs> what the hell, spoilers? <laughs> All right, two no. We have not had the hardest matches so far, but you know we're we're playing who we're, we're playing what we're playing against.
<clears throat> Alright, run. Playing against High Moon. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Night Owl? So, Night Owl, uh, I think it's what I was, I was talking about before with this, but the I like I like basically everything in the deck. The one thing I I don't like, the one thing I'm really concerned about, is having 25 lands whenever we really want to hit our fifth land drop every single game. I think this is a 26 land deck. I didn't change it because you know I wanted to keep the deck the same. But I certainly think this is a 26 land deck. Uh, especially how we have the Immortal Suns in there too. And a lot of 5-drops. Five, five so that's the the one thing I'm worried about. Besides that, I like what we got going on here. Nice. We are spawning. You're playing on your other monitor while you watch it? Nice. That's the great part about two monitors. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Would we want to draw with the deck because we're worried about our land drops? I don't think so still like No, I don't think so. Just got to hope we hit our lands. I battle you may regret that choice. I mean, our opponent's just going to play, this will but they're just going to get, like, they just go get Teferi and we lose. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, especially with Follies, like, yeah, you need 26. And there was a time, one of the first matches, I was like, come on, land, we need to hit our land for Lyra. And we drew our land, and it was Folly. And I was like, ugh, what is this doing? But, yeah. Yeah. Alright, they're just gonna see more of my deck. I can't beat that fairy. Hmm. This is a good match for Eldest Reborn. So we were talking about that card earlier. Um, how many Mortifies do I want to play and Dive Downs? Let's trim a couple Dive Downs. Still got Negate Duress. I conceded, yeah, we, we had no chance to win that game anymore. So I picked it up and just started to move on to the next one. I feel like Ascanta may be our only target to mortify. With them playing Thought Erasure, that usually means they're more black heavy, so like black removal spells and not, not enchantments. So I, they could have Eldritch Reborn though. No, Midnight Reaper is good here. Like, you know, it draws an extra card. Like, everything that says draw a card, you want against control, basically. So, like, Midnight Reaper is good.
All right, I like our, <clears throat> I like our hand. I like the Midnight Reaper here on the play. They have a lot of creatures. Seraph. Seraph's going to be a problem. Man, they are just so relying on Sir Triscanta. I wish I would have held up Negate. Man, if I would just held up Negate, you know, obviously we didn't know this was the case, but if I would just held up Negate and, and uh, countered that Sir Triscanta. Oh, they don't even have blue mana. They don't even have blue mana. Hmm. Hey, we are spawn! And press any. Getting some gifted subs. Enjoy the subs. Y'all, you get to use uh, awesome emotes now. Like the hypo. Alright, that gets us to eight subs on the day. So if we get two more subscribers, we'll be cracking up another pack. Um, just play this while we'll the Angel of Grace had end up. They could have another cast down to kill this, which would be unfortunate. Good, they just moved to discard. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> Let's get this Midnight Reaper back. Have some counter magic. <clears throat> We're good there. The problem was if they drew a land there, they'd start playing some creatures. All right, maybe another mortify. DJ Polly B is finally off of work. Gets gets to join. Welcome. We've been having a good day so far today. Um, oh, I do have these Elder Borns that kill creatures, but Elder Borns not very good against Seraph at the scales. I only have like the two contempts there. <laughs> yeah, donation decks are going pretty good today. Um, I was honestly like pretty impressed with uh, uh, Rhythm of the Wild. Um, earlier, uh, you know, more impressed than I thought I would be, that is, uh, with that card. Um, that's one that, that came to mind. Um, not, not impressed at all with Domri, though, unfortunately. Um, ugh. Need more lands. Yeah, the non non countering creatures and give you give you creatures haste. Uh, Slumber says I have the next two days off of work because it's too cold in the Midwest, and I haven't told my wife yet. Do you, how do you think I'm doing? I mean, you can just go ahead and and tell her. That's not a, a big deal. So, am I going first? Your opponent goes first. Okay, so that's how they tell us. So they're they're keeping their seven. I think I'm shipping this. Oh no, we got turn two tithe taker. Nah. Alright, I like this more. I like the Midnight Reapers quite a bit. And we also have black mana, so we're not just How many basics do we have in here? It seems like we've drawn a lot of basics. Wow, we have seven basics. Alright, I th I think we need some more dual lands too. 
Because, yeah, only eight blue sources. I don't, I don't know if that's enough. I think we have too many basics. We need to get a little more blue mana in here. And yeah, we need another land. I don't really know if people that thought Domri was going to be too good. <laughs> I will gladly point out your inadequacies. I just had a sick play. Played Karn, minus two, next turn, plus one, Contempt went to Exile. He had a deputy after that for Karn. I played second I Karn. Enjoy seeing things suffer. Plus one, Eldest goes to Exile. He plays Seraph. I draw Contempt. Our actions minus two Karn for two five fives. Raska the deputy, get the first Karn, minus one for Eldest. He sacks Seraph and concedes. All right, we can't play 25 lands because <laughs> we have nothing. We have like you know barely anything to do turns one and two, so we really have to wait till like turn three, turn four, turn five before we're playing our spells, and you just can't. We can't win games that we don't hit our land drops. DJ Polly B giving out a sub. That gets some hype in the channel. All right, we're at nine subs on the day. Down to 28. Yeah, all three matches, all three games there were, uh, yeah, the, the lands had a big part in, in all of those games. Um, you know, we lost games one and three because we d didn't have lands. Our opponent lost game two because they didn't have lands. Just wasn't a very good match. Yeah, we need more blue mana. There's only eight blue sources here. That's not, not enough. Heavy Feather, keeping the hype boat afloat. Thank you so much for that sub there, Twitch Prime. Gets us to double digits on the day. All right. Uh, yeah, update the, the game count, good call. And we're down to 27. Subscribers. That's a pack. That is a pack. So, the two Ravnica sets, I, we're going to get a different... You know, we're doing good on both the Ravnica sets. So I'm going to crack open a different one. Um... Yeah, we'll see what's set, but... Yep, we're cracking it back. The Terramander deck. Oh man, I'd love to negate that. Gotta get that blue mana. So do I... Contempt? Or... Play another Tithe Taker. Wait, I don't think I need to just shock, pay two life, and contempt one of these things right now. Let's get the other Tithe Taker in play. No, treasure map's not dead in standard now. No, treasure map's still good. 
Yeah, it's still a good card. Yeah, here, I'll let's do let's do a poll for the for the set. You, before I've I've just kind of wanted to go a little quicker and haven't done a poll. Oh, I like the Kaya's Wrath here. That's a good draw. We can just kill all these Terramanders. We get a couple 1-1s. One -ones. They can't even counter it. Like if they had a counter spell because of the Tithe Takers. So just yeah, let's just get all those Terramanders out of here. Make them try to find other threats, then we have contempt. Alright, so 60 seconds, you'll have to vote for what set do you want us to open up. Um, Alright, so choices are M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. There we go. There's the poll started. You can type N19, DOM, RIX, or XLN. Hmm. Now they can have dive down up though. <laughs> so you got 60 seconds to vote. I'm going to go ahead and just go with the Angel of Grace, I think, first, before the Lyra. We'll see how it, how it pans out. So they could use a dive down on the Enigma Drake to eat the Angel of Grace. But I think I'm actually fine with that trade. Because I gain six life, which is big. And it just makes my... Uh, not only my contempt good, but I mean it makes... Yeah, like makes like my contempt better. There we go. It makes Lyra a whole lot better, you know, getting the dive down out. Yeah, I think they mostly just play Spell Pierce and, uh, yeah, just Spell Pierce to dive down for, like, interaction like that. I, I don't think they really have other counter spells. Yeah, I, I, have seen, I have seen Negate and Sabotage sometimes in their deck. You know, individual people play different things. I have seen those cards in there. This is an Eldest Reborn matchup and probably Profane Procession. Kai's Wrath. Kind of like all those things. Um, I don't want Midnight Reaper. And I kind of like everything else. Immortal Sun's out. I guess I don't need the dive downs myself. I don't think. Um, I mean, dive down, when they... When our angels and drakes go into combat and they dive down and I dive down. I mean, their drakes are usually bigger and it just kills my creature anyway. So, yeah, let's just take those out. Uh, Tithe Taker. Tithe Taker is probably not too necessary. Actually, maybe I'll just cut Tithe Taker. I don't know. It was, it was fine. I'll have, I'll have two Tithe Takers instead of two dive downs. I'm not sure. The absolution's not not too good here. Um, their their creatures are so big that giving that for six mana giving their creature minus one minus one isn't uh, too isn't. Uh, hmm. It isn't too needed. I 
Hey, Boondocks, good evening. Well, we got an easy mulligan here. I hope the six card hand is four lands and two other spells. This deck, I, I want to see four lands in the opener. It's like the number of lands I want to see. That's what I want to see. I'll feel kind of bad if they play like a, you know, like a chart of course or something on turn three, but you know, usually you see that on turn two, so. Um, let's duress them. I think I may be able to just Kai's Wrath and take out a bunch, a couple creatures. Ah, Coil, Fire Shock. Well then. I could beat those cards. Well, I mean, those cards don't do anything. I don't really have anything that does anything, though. What I was thinking was going to happen is I was going to take something like a Spell Pierce or a, a Dive Down, something like that, and they were going to untap and play a Crackling Drake, and then I was going to Wrath the two creatures. But, but now maybe I just play Mortify to kill this thing. And we can stare at each other for a little bit. Dang it. Punished on not waiting on Kaya's Wrath. Green, blue, black is called Sultai. Hmm. We drew an angel, so let's let's just use the wrath, and then uh, we'll have resplendent angel with negate back up. Or negate, we can counter the shivan fire. Nice. You're gonna make a soul tide jank with journey to eternity. Do it. I don't know if I've played Sultai Journey to Eternity at all. Oh, what won the poll a little bit ago? Uh, Dominaria. Dominaria won the poll. Apparently an MTGO Negate and Disdainful Stroke are the most popular counter spells. I can certainly see that. Ooh. A Mirror March deck? That's another good jank deck that I have not played. I haven't played a Mirror March deck yet. Would it be like, what, Rakdos the Showstopper with Mirror March? I did not like Disdainful Stroke last format, but I, I do like Disdainful Stroke this format. I think there's... Uh, a lot more good cards to counter at the four mana and and up level. Mirror March is the new six mana red enchantment. All right, Elvis are born. That, this is the matchup it's for. Opponent's hand wasn't very good. They just had lots of burn spells and lands. But we're moving on to three and one. 
Yeah, there you go. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, flip a coin until you lose a flip. For each flip you win, create a copy, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Those tokens gain haste. Sunbird's Invocation and Mirror March. Oh, yeah. Six CMC enchantment dot deck. You lose every flip, Alec. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I haven't played with or against it. I haven't seen a mirror march in play when I'm playing yet. Hmm. Oh, pack time! Dang it, Dominaria pack. I was thinking about Mirror March and what to do with the Mirror March deck. I saw two Mirror March on the battlefield with Raise End played. Or End Raise. Sorry, End Raise Forerunners played with two Mirror March on the battlefield. Wow. That's not fair. If your average spell is 6 CMC, how many lands do we need to play? Like 27, 28? So many. Yeah, Journey's Guy, I think I think the deck needs an, uh, another land. As far as something to change with the deck, I, I think it needs I think it needs 26 land and also a few a few less basics and some more blue sources. Uh, you know, some more like the dual lands with blue sources. I think it needs both of those things. Because as you can see here, like we, we have to hit land drops with this kind of deck. Like this is... Our games were losing. We don't have lands. No, I don't have any donation decks for tomorrow. Nope. Wait. No. No, I have one for Saturday. I have a four-color gates deck for Saturday. All right, we double block in. Yeah, like the angel decks here because there's not there's not library manipulation in this deck. Um, you know, maybe if we're playing like Discovery, uh, which honestly may not be a bad card, but if we're playing something like Discovery where you can, you know, something like that where you can use it to help you hit your your land drops, uh, you could do better. But uh, you know, it, it could be better for you, but since we don't have anything like that, anything to hit land drops, we can't. You know, we can't rely on that. Um, so, we just you just have to play at least 26 lands when you're just playing a bunch of 4s and 5s. How many lands for a Rakdos aggro deck? Um, kind of depends on the deck, but... Just from hearing that, I'd say it's probably between 22 to 24. Is that lethal? 6, 14, 19. So they have a gate, it's lethal. That's lethal. Yeah, I, I conceded. Us not having a land, though, cost us there. You know, if we get to Kaya's Wrath the turn before, we would have been fine, but no lands. All right, this is an Eldritch Reborn matchup. This is a Profane Procession matchup. Uh, Kaya's Wrath, absolutely. And I do like Duress and Negate. I don't like dive down. I don't want Immortal Sun. Hmm. Tight takers just aren't gonna really do anything. Yeah, like see our whole deck's like three through three through five mana cost wise. Don't have enough lands. I mean I wanna take Midnight Reaper out. But I am kind of worried about our hitting lands if I take Midnight Reaper out. I guess I could take an Angel. No, I like Angel of Grace. 
they play like a big explosion, we can stay at one. Yeah, no, I like that. Oh, thanks, Lumber. You like the deck variants here in the stream. Yeah, I like playing lots of different decks. It's... You know, I I would do better if I played just, like, one deck and really focused on it and, you know, really really tune it. But it's, you know, it's fun playing lots of different things. <laughs> Let's take out some lands. Our last lead with Naya Dinosaurs was, was a real long one. Uh, it still has 50 minutes of upload time, is what it says. And we're in match number four. Usually by now, like for YouTube, usually by now it would already be uploaded. I really enjoy the jank theme decks like Smothering Tithe. More of that. Okay. That was a, that was a lot of fun, the Smothering Tithe deck. We did well with that. We're going to have to play that again. I like Radiate Pinball's Mardu Control with uh, Theater of Horrors. I want to play that one again. Yeah, it's an all donation deck day. Yesterday we had uh, four people donate for a deck today, so. So do I want an Angel of Grace or Midnight Reaper next turn? Hmm. I kind of want to just have the Midnight Reaper in play for like Gates of Blaze. We get to draw cards. It doesn't use my mana very well though. Um, because, you know, we could, like, have Angel, if we draw a land, we could potentially have, like, Mortify plus Midnight Reaper, like, the next turn. I guess I could just, yeah, they're probably, yeah, I could just, I'm going to end step Angel and then untap Midnight Reaper, and I still have, like, the protection from Gates of Blaze with that. Yeah, I, I like that. Let's, let's keep this, let's save the Angel here. Do I go Angel, then untap Contempt? No, I just hope I draw a land here so I can Reaper plus Mortify. I guess I should have Vigilanced this so I could Death Touch it. Hmm. Certainly seems like they're going to have Gates of Blaze. It's a good point, saving Contempt for Colossus. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll talk about the deck after, after the match. I don't know if I'll, I'll tune it completely. I'm already trying to think of a good donation deck for you because my deck is so janky it would make you retire from magic. Oh, that's not that's not even possible. With more blue mana with discovery dispersal maybe helps smooth out the draws of the deck. Is this end step? No, that's main phase, right? That's main phase, right? Like that just kills them. That's not end step, is it? No, exactly that, that would take seven mana.
the problem with putting discovery in is kind of what to cut. You know, like everything in the deck's kind of kind of good, but this this certainly is a huge hole. You know, our one and two drops. This is a really big hole here. We we realistically can't have a this as a deck, honestly. Oh, Thought Erasure would be super good. Yeah, Thought Erasure should probably just be a four of in this deck. I mean, Thought Erasure is just a busted card. That's a that's a great reason to play Esper Angels. Ooh, now now I'm in it. We get Thought Erasures. Because we can just take... Midnight Reaper doesn't mean, need to be in this deck. So we go to a 26 land, get Midnight Reaper out of there, get like another Kaya's Wrath for like the aggro decks. But then, yeah, you have four Thought Erasure. Because that helps you surveil a little bit. Do you love me some Thought Erasure? A good hand. Yeah, I mean, our opponent did give us lethal there with with that uh, <clears throat> explosion, but that explosion wasn't going to kill anything that would have saved them, so they didn't really have a, a a choice. Turn three is their their turn that uh, you know they get to gates ablaze and. Uh, stuff like that. So I'm waiting a turn on the duress. I'm letting them draw another card here Because you know they were on a six card hand and they had, like the scry so letting them draw another card and then duress I want to you know, we'll take the enchantment or circuitous route Guild summit that's the card I want to take Yeah, uh, no, you're right. The five mana angels are really bad against Chupacabra and Vivian, and that's why... Oh, come on. Duress. Duress bug. Got us. And that's why having a card like Dive Down in the deck is, is really nice. Code Junk, doing great. Thanks for resubbing there for the second month in a row. All right, up to 11 subscribers on the day. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, you're welcome. Glad you're joining the streams. Uh, it's not a real bug, but it seems to happen a lot that whatever card you take with a discard spell, they just draw it immediately. I draw another copy. So am I playing? So they they're certainly going to Gates of Blaze, right? Like that's like their card in hand. Do I play the Resplendent Angel? Um. Yeah, I could just wait and just folly and step. Just draw two. So I hostage taker, a hostage taker, and then my opponent deputy detentions the two hostage takers. Where do they go when the deputy dies? They would go back into play and both trigger. They have coil? Oh, I hope they don't have coil. That's bad. Oh my gosh, they have coil explosion or expansion. 
Wow. That is really bad for me. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I still have so many cards in hand because of Guild Summit. Killed something so good. Why is Guild Summit a thing? I mean, I can I can give the Seraph Death Touch. What do you mean it's good? It only draws half of your deck for three mana. <laughs> oh, I haven't noticed that bug when it's Scry Bottom. I haven't noticed that one too much. I haven't noticed the Scry bug. I'd like to draw a negate. That'd be good. All right, there's the ablaze. Do they have another ablaze? It's it's not super likely they have another ablaze, right? Two cards in hand. Hopefully not. Maybe they're dead? Maybe they're dead? Seven in the air? No, deck master's working. Uh. All right, so I can either Kaya's Wrath plus Resplendent Angel, or I can Angel Grace. Angel of Grace, you know, just kind of goes for the win. Um, I think just getting their creatures out of there, just staying at 14, is honestly just, I guess, you know, now 16. I think this is a good play. You know, Resplendent Angel still attacks for lethal here. Like, if they don't have removal... I'll just go ahead and activate it. I don't think I need to mortify that guild summit by now. Took down Win a Box last night with the Bant deck that you sent out a little over a week ago. Uh, a little over a week ago. Nice. Feel like I owe you at least half the box by now. <laughs> Dude, good job, Grayson. Yeah, the, you went with the Bant mid range deck? Cool. 
All right, there's a 10. No, I, I haven't heard the perception sound bug. We played against perception a decent amount today. Didn't they just play? Oh, they played a steam vents. Oh, they have steam vents and stomping ground in here. I was wondering. Yes, yeah, so they, I was like, they played a tap land and didn't draw. Honestly, maybe I should have just be holding up Angel of Grace by now. But I can't really resist the resplendent angel value and gaining life. Gruel Gilgate. Does that does that not draw him a card? Is this Gilgate bugged or something? Oh, there we go. There we go. I was like, what's going on? It's only been when you play it. Okay. I've had that sound bug happen with uh, adapting. I conceded a game with the adapt uh, trigger on the stack, and then that that sound because of like because the game ended with that adapt trigger just never stopped, and I had to restart the client. So I had I've had that happen. No, I don't think the the gate deck is bad. Final boss time. Man, when we were we were one and one with the Naya Dinos against control and it was looking like we were gonna go one and two and this was like you know, three hours ago. It was looking like we were gonna have a really quick day, but you know, we have we've gone all the way to ten. Been playing a lot of matches here, going all the way to ten. Alright, Night Owl, final boss time. Ooh, let's get a pack first. Get a Dominaria pack because we got to 10 subs. So we're getting the Dominaria pack to celebrate. What are we opening? The Antiquities War. That's a good one. I've never made an Antiquities War deck, but I, I feel like I should with Smothering Tithe. Uh, so we can get a bunch of art, you know, a bunch of treasures, and then make them all 5-5s. Five with Antiquities War. Time to get in the zone and take down this final boss. Alright, Esper Angels, let's go. Definitely a treasure map. I don't know about explosion. Um, right now I like Mardu Angels, but uh, I think Esper Angels has a lot of um, a lot of potential. It needs some tuning. Um, basically, I think with the color combinations, Esper Angels would be better against control decks. Mardu Angels better against aggro decks. Um, kind of in general. Oh, yeah. Makes two Thopters gain life. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I could have that. Ooh, we got a Esper Angels Mirror. Yeah, I've played a couple Mardu Aristocrats deck. That was one of the first decks that I wanted to put together. I haven't had a lot of success with it yet. I, I really struggled against other aggro decks. With... Um... With Mardu, Arist Mardu Aristocrats. Mardu is black, white, and red. 
Could Antiquities War Deck be competitive? Uh, maybe like FNM competitive. There's just not, there's just not very many good artifacts. Um, get that out of here. Uh, it's called Aristocrats after some creatures that were named Aristocrat, mostly Cartel Aristocrat. Uh, back in standard around six, seven years ago. It was a standard deck built around a card called Cartel Aristocrat. This procession seems good. I don't know. There's certainly a Mortify deck, being black white. Profe procession's pretty expensive. But I guess even if they Mortify it, it's just like you know three for three. It's just like you know dice to removal kind of thing. They don't. It's not like it's not like an Ixlon's Binding where they get their creature back kind of thing. This is an absolution matchup. Absolution. Lee. I don't really know what's not not good though. Oh yeah, that's our that song is a banger. That's our uh, final boss music. Like yesterday, I like spent time looking for like other final boss music, like like on on Spotify. And I couldn't really find any any other ones I liked. I couldn't really find any other like boss music sounds that I liked. I don't know, maybe just trim a dive down in Alira. I don't know. Our deck certainly needs more blue sources. Eight is not enough. But I've said that a lot. Get the point there. We need at, at least 11. At the very least, 11. Okay, he's back here. You can see him right back here. He's laying down back there. Okay, Muse's most recent album. So they're a Mardu deck. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks, Crow. Attack! Maybe I should be trading with the Tithe Taker so we play some Mortal Sun. We have a bigger creature, but of course, I just don't have the mana for a Mortal Sun yet. <clears throat> All right, land drop. Can we get this land drop? Like it's hot. Ooh, that land drop. We are dropping that land like it's hot. Boom. Sorry, Code Junk. Um, 
I missed your question. Okay. So there's a, a big showdown happening in my town this Saturday. I'm thinking of playing blue-green merfolk with some counters. What do you think of that, Todd? I'm also thinking of splashing white for some life gain and deputy. I like. I think you could go with blue-green merfolk and some counters. There's been some blue, like blue-green merfolk has been five owing um, a few times here. Uh, so if you hadn't if you hadn't seen any of the five O lists with blue green Murfolk, I'd certainly look at those. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if you need life gain encounters, but I also don't know what its matchups like against the other aggro decks. Um or sorry, life gain and deputy. Um Deputy could be kinda of nice for the deck though. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a good deck. I, could, I wouldn't mind either one. I wouldn't mind just keeping it blue-green or um, or playing a little bit of white. All right. 5-1. Whoa, not 45-1. and 5-1. One. and one. Man, every time we play an Angels deck, it kind of doesn't matter what color combination. Just Resplendent Angel and Lyra Dawnbringer just win games. Seems like they just always just win games. Oh yeah, don't don't be nervous. Uh, first time going to a tabletop tournament, um, you know. Ooh, radiant destiny. Don't uh, don't be scared to call a judge if you don't really understand what's going on. Uh, you know, communicate well with the with your opponent and uh, and you know have fun with it. You know, like usually your opponents, you know, like you're probably there to to have fun. The opponents there to have fun. You know, like. You know, don't, uh, I don't know, like, it's okay to be, you know, don't be, uh, don't be scared to, to talk kind of thing. All right, so we got our 2100 gold for the 5-1. We got a Radiant Destiny. And there we go. Hey, number 15, good games. Yeah, you, you, you stumbled there. It was, I guess, the first, yeah, the first game, even both games. Yeah, I just kind of stumbled. So you were playing what? What else? Uh, so you were playing Mardu Angels, I guess. Yeah, because the game one, you just you just got really unlucky with like just the two lands. Could only play the Tithe Taker. Hey, number fifteen, you get a sub though, even though you stumbled a little bit. Welcome to the channel. You got a sub. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We just oh we got the pack uh, right before that. Okay, yeah, you're on Mardu Angels. So we were trying some Esper Angels, but um, I think if I play this deck again, I think these Immortal Suns need to go to the sideboard, and we certainly need 26 lands. Um, see, playing like two Watery Grave, like two Drowned Catacomb. Maybe a third drowned catacomb. Yeah, it gives us 13 blue. That's a lot better. Um, I honestly just wouldn't play Memorial to Folly. I don't think we need it. And then cut a couple swamps. Because then we just added in black sources. All right, and then how are we doing with white? 4, 8, 12, 16, 19. Okay, I think we can go to 18 with white. So play an Arch of Araska over a Plains. And there we go. All right, now if we have Thought Erasure. That card's awesome. Midnight Reaper, not really necessary. What do you think is the best Angels decks you've played so far or know of? Uh, certainly the Mardu Angels deck that uh, was the best, but I, I think this has a lot of potential. Um, I like the potential of this deck. Um, but the Mardu Angels deck, which you can find in the Stream Decker here, um, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Totsiemsmtg. 
Three dive downs is a little much. Let's go down to two. Um, and I, I want a little more removal in here. I want another removal spell. That's either fourth mortify or third contempt or third Kaya's wrath. I want I want one of those. I'm not sure. Now two two watery gives us ten shock lands. I think ten shock lands is probably good enough. We don't want to have you know like too many shock lands. We don't want to be taking a lot. You think third contempt? Like I want I want one more of, of one of these. <clears throat> Could also just play cast down. Cast down's not so bad in this format. I don't know. Mortify. I think it'd just be fourth mortify, honestly. There's so many enchantments. Mortify is just great. Thought Razor over Duress because Thought Razor can take anything. It can take uh, creatures, everything. And that Surveil one's pretty big. Like, whenever you get to see their hand, you know, so you get to see their hand, you know, like, how, like, the next few turns are going to be playing out. And then you get to decide what card you want on top of your library. It's. It's a whole lot of uh, it's it's a whole lot of information and it's really good for just the two mana. Zero card draw. You don't really need card draw though. You really don't. My my the Mardu Angels deck that I've never gotten less than five wins with has has zero card draw. I mean, we have we have the Arch of Araska if we really flood out, but you you just don't need you don't really need it. These things, whoop, these angels just kind of win the game. Um, in the sideboard, we I don't think we need all these Eldest Reborns. I do like Ethereal Absolution. I don't think I would play Profane Procession. I, I like the card, but. There's just too many mortifies and too much enchantment removal. I wouldn't play that card. Uh, Kaya's Wrath is awesome. Cry of the Carnarium is okay. Spyglass, of course, is great. Um, I've I've played a Lost Lesnia Angels before. I haven't played it in the new format. I didn't play it with the Wild Growth Walker plus Explore. I played it with uh, Takali Honor Guard before, but I think that Wild Growth Walker Explores Lesnia Angels is like the best is like one of the best things to be doing in Best of One against all the red decks. But I, I'm 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 planning on making that kind of angel deck, but uh, have it be Abzan for Find Finality and Sarah for the Skills because I I really like Sarah for the Skills a whole lot. Um, sure. Feel the power. Yeah, I can. Up, up, yeah, I'll put this on Stream Decker also. Um, sideboard. So I like I like this main deck. I like this main deck. Sideboard. I kind of just don't really like the Cry of the Carnarium, or at least three of those. I'm not sure what else I'd want there. I don't know if I want... Basically, I don't want three of those. If we just play two... Like, maybe a Ritual of Soot or another... I mean, honestly, Kaya's Wrath could probably just be a four of. Kaya's Wrath is pretty great. Yeah, it could have, like, a Ritual of Soot, but it's like... What's the... Like, why would you ever play Ritual of Soot over Kaya's Wrath kind of thing? I guess besides to save these creatures, but... Um, Moment of Craving... I mean, also, I'm not sure if we... Honestly, I don't know if I need, like, a removal spell there. Like, I think I would just want something else, like, maybe against control. Or I think I just want a different card in general. Like, I don't think I need another early removal spell in that slot. Our deck's already going to be good against those aggro decks with having Kaya's Wrath, and then these angels are awesome. So, I think we'd want, like, just some other... I don't know what, but something else. Uh, binding. I don't really like Binding. The fairy is the card, probably. I mean, Teferi's just busted. Am I bringing in Teferi? Should I be playing Teferi's instead of Immortal Sons? Probably. Hmm.
you think this deck would work without the Resplendent Angels? Not really. Resplendent Angel is really important. Yeah, I like Thought Erasure more than Midnight Reaper. There another Hmm. I don't really know what I want with that for that that slot there. Oh hey Grayson's girlfriend. Let's see. Is there... That's what I want. I feel like there's probably something pretty cool to play. But I don't know. Could kind of be dealer's choice. None more ego. Hmm. Against the wilderness reclamation decks. Does this stop them? Oh, it's probably just fourth. I could just play fourth duress also. Or like the control decks just take the Teferis out. Yeah, we could just play like one on Morty Go. It probably should be fourth to rest though. Could be a fine finality also. A chromium. Is chromium an angel? Elder Dragon? That's not an angel. Okay, there we go. Esper Angels. Alright, I'll put this up on Stream Decker. So yeah, so if you're watching this later on YouTube... Stop. I'll have this up there also. Um... What do you think of changing the, the third Kai's in the sideboard to a Cleansing Nova? No. I wouldn't want that. I could see... I could see just playing... I, I certainly want three Kai's Wraths. I could see playing three Kai's Wraths plus one Cleansing Nova, though. But I, I think I want... I would, I would want one Kai's Wrath. Um, yeah. I could see that. All right. Um, so, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube... Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if this is nighttime for you, have a wonderful night. If not, hopefully you click on over to another video. And there we go. So thanks for watching.